So we're coming to you live from Castles and Coasters. We've just hit our last hole and I'm uh, here with the winner. I wanna hear what the winner has to say about their amazing journey through this putt-putt course. Phoenix Knights, chapter one. Tonight we went down a bunch of streets that are under construction. A lot of Phoenix is under construction in the weirdest way where the streets are just, they look like this. The goal was to go to a fun place that I don't know what to expect. This is not the door. We parked in a Walmart parking lot and I asked the Walmart parking lot security if it was good. This Walmart has a lot of security in it, which is probably meant to make people feel comfortable, but it doesn't make me feel comfortable. Is it closed? Castles and coasters. It smells like amusement park. And here we are. dollars is too much all right so we gotta go back outside you want to be bigger it's gonna be 30 dollars with that cash for card card and the screen turns black already. Right here you go. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. We are here to play a grueling, grueling round. 18 holes of mini golf. JJ is pretty good at golf if you have not learned by watching us in Vegas, but that's driving. How is she at putting? So we're gonna start. Oh one. What do you got? Oh my first post. Ooh. That was way Damn. off. It's almost like you did that on purpose. That was way off. <laughs> Is this your third? Yeah. Alright, so part three, so you're good. Yeah, you didn't say that part. Boom. Ooh. Ooh, try to get you too. Now here's where here's where I don't close it out. Because mm -hmm. everybody closes it out so easily. Here's where I don't close it out. <laughs> I told you. I told you. It was you spoke happen. it into existence. Ooh. No. You're up. Oh. All right. Oh. So is that the right hole? No, I think you want to get it in the back one. Oh, snap. Oh, Oh, damn. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I'm gonna play the lamp. Yeah, why they set me up like that? Is that an extra is that an extra stroke? Yeah. <laughs> Hit it again. Two, three. All right, you're up, good sir. It's like swimming pool out here. Where did it go? You over, wait. 
I didn't see it. Is this it right here? Hole in one. Yeah, but. Oh, is, is it? Oh, that's it's right it. there. That's the hole. Okay. Yeah, you got a hole in one. Yeah. Oh, that was a great shot. Yeah. I mean, it put me behind them. Yeah. I mean, at least you got back on the green. To save, to save. It, you know? That's two. Now I gotta hit it in this next one. Ooh, get out of here. <laughs> okay, I'm one over. Damn. That's, that's, that's pathetic. Someone who's been here a lot. I really feel like this should be better at this course. Really? I mean, I haven't been here in 30 years. But... Two. <laughs> it's like riding two. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That sign hasn't changed in 30 years. I'm losing pretty badly. I'm cutting this video right now. I'm going to pop back in. Hopefully, I'm winning by the time I come back on. We are well off course. We're stepping over things right now. Somebody lost their ball in the drink. Is it in there? Um, Let's see. Let me go I down. Think the, I think the, I think the, oh. Damn, I got to walk all the way back. We were. Why don't you just fish one of these out? Because I got bad vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that might be my ball right there. That might be you. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Go. I'm about to fall into this water. Damn. Got him. <clears throat> Feel like that Jurassic Park head. <laughs> we fished out. Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, thank goodness. And it's a hole in one. Where is it? The hole in one box. Oh, is it really? Hey! hey. I saved Paul. <laughs> Just when I thought I was gonna be able to take the lead, he hits a hole in one after going into the drink. It's mm. coming back. It's coming back. Is it coming back? Damn. Oh man, I feel much better about falling in the drink. <laughs> oh. Oh. You gotta, you gotta wait, you gotta wait. Good luck. <laughs> Yeah. Oh! Oh. oh! Yeah, you just dedicated your evening to this. <laughs> <laughs> you just, hey, you just learned. This one goes out to my <laughs> evening. <laughs> oh. Big boys doing big whole things. At least he didn't come back. I know mine for sure is coming back. I don't know where that's coming out at, but I know mine's for sure. Hey, we on this side. That's actually pretty good. Route it hey. down to the hole. Yeah. Ooh! Is it a hole in one? I don't want. I'm not gonna. You not. I'm not gonna show mine. I'm gonna cut the camera off because I'm real bad. I'm. A, I'm real bad. So we're coming to you live from Castles and Coasters. We've just hit our last hole, and I'm uh, here with the winner. I want to hear what the winner has to say about their amazing journey through this putt putt course. Shout out, Mr. Woods, high school gym class, Target Sports. Taught me everything I know. Shout out to her teacher, Tiger Woods. <laughs> and for second place, we have Eric. How do you feel? I'm happy I was invited and did not finish last. That was good. No nines. 
So now we're gonna talk to the last place. And uh, in the last place we have, I was cheated. First of all, I think she need to be drug tested for performance enhancing drugs. I don't even know how I lost last. I didn't even hit my ball in the water. Mm, that's true. Let <laughs> <laughs> me know. I mean, the back nine. We got three twos and a hole in one for the champ in the back nine. Yeah, she Just, smashed us on the back nine. Yeah. I mean, if you had multiple hole in ones, right? Right. Yeah, two hole in ones. And I'm, three twos. That's impressive. I, first of all, I don't like this face in the way you're standing right no. now. Yeah. It's championship face. I don't like that. It's weird how she acts like she's done it before. And she's like, I've never even seen a putt putt golf course. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well. Now, this is like one of those low key culture things about Arizona, where like a lot of random shopping centers just have little like mini amusement parks. Because you're too far from Disney World, you ain't like going nowhere. Like, you're in the middle of the desert. So, 1988. You know, kids yeah. really didn't have no choice but to shop while, like, you had to go to the amusement park while your mom was at the grocery store. I would've killed. That would've been amazing. Yeah. My grandfather and uh, a man that we called Uncle Bob, who I later learned was his partner. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we would come here all the time and they would go inside and like just smoke cigarettes and play cards while me and my brother would just run around this place. Yo, the 90s were terrible at describing <laughs> and defining relationships. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for good reason, Uncle but. Bob. Yeah, for good reason, but. So we're looking for a roller coaster. And I don't know how much it's gonna cost to get on a roller coaster or if we had to pre buy tickets, which I think you do. We are not getting on a roller coaster it stops. because it costs money, a lot of money. Instead of it being like $10, $8, $15, it's $47 for a rides pass that gets you on the roller coaster. Ain't nobody trying to pay that. So everybody who we've seen get on a roller coaster at this point has been ballers. Ballers. Cause how? I'm about to be out here. Who's that dude? Bubba Wallace in there. Okay, okay. Call me BW. What number are you picking? How do you feel about this race? Nervous, I feel nervous. You nervous? Why? I didn't learn how to go kart in gym class. <laughs> what number are you picking and how you feel about this race? Okay, so first of all, golf, not my thing, but I did spend some time in North Carolina. There right, you go. It's not working. Confederate but, flags and gas stations. Okay? okay, cool. All right. It's hey. for three. Oh, it's, it's, you got all three of them, right? Okay. I'm gonna get the Jasani, it's like water. Scrap it in. party people so we left the drug front slash money laundering business that is castles and coasters no one was there castles and coasters so fun everything is like very well lit very well maintained it is clean it is nice there is no one here and it costs at least $45 to do anything other than play miniature golf. So to ride go-karts, it's $10 individual, just straight out. So I gave them $10 for me, JJ, and Eric. Okay, go-karts were legit fun. Go -karts I've were never really fun. done go-karts before. That shit was fun. That shit was also dangerous. Some of the cars just started breaking down. 
like they ran into each other or ran into a wall and they would just like break down there was an accident in front of me where i i barely swerved out yeah. of the way and then kept going so it ended up being i was in fourth place and then eric passed me putting me in fifth place and then eric got into an accident with someone and i shot past them then I shot past someone else, and then I was in second place. And the girl who was in front of me, I don't know if she has NASCAR parents, if she has a <laughs> racing background, but she was defensive driving in a way where I could not get past her. So we'd come around a corner and I'm like, I'm gonna take her on this corner. And I don't know, she was like, I know people try to take it on this corner. So she would hug the corner in a way where I couldn't get through. And at one point she did look over her shoulder at me and I was like, yo, she flexing on me. Yeah. So. We had a really good day. JJ has another long day at work tomorrow. So I think that tomorrow we might try to go do something fun as well uh, to kind of break up the monotony of the day and get some 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 relax in so that we're not getting off work and then sitting in the RV, not really doing anything. Yeah. You get to blow off some steam. Tonight was great. I'm so glad we got to see Eric. Love that dude. I've so known fun. Eric, honestly, probably at this point, 16 years, maybe? Known him for a long time, really good friend, uh, also an adventurer who's seen the world and done a lot of the stuff that we're doing now. So we got some tips, heard some cool stories. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Phoenix, shout out to you. Good night. Good, good day. Good night. Hey, JJ. Yeah? You want to go to an olive festival? Yeah. I don't like olives, but when in olive country, is this olive country? We're gonna go to Olive Fest. Um, by the time we get there, the sun should be going down. We're gonna get this drive, get some jackets, and see you there. Are these olives? Dusty olives. Where's the music? Where's the fest? Let's go I this knew way. this was a I don't know how they do things here, but I expected to hear at least a live band. Cruising. Oh no, a lot Cruising, of tables bro. are already packed, packing up. This uh, is my chance for a crown. One of the, you better go get you a crown real quick. You want to make your, make make your crown? crown? All right, branch has been chosen. Wait, this might not be big enough. You have a small head, it's big enough. How do I look? Like a four baby. <laughs> they make mead here. I feel like if I got mead, I would have to take my shirt off and eat a turkey leg. Like, I don't know how committed to a festival vibe I'm trying to get. But if I drink meat, I gotta be a liking. Good. How was yours? <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going good. So, are you local? No. Where Visiting from New York City. Oh, I've never been. I wanted to go. Too scared. But yeah. Oh, come on. Scared of what? So, I just got finished telling JJ about budgeting when we were sitting in Steve on our way over here. And yet, I spent money on things that probably I could have avoided spending money on. You only live once, you love. There we go. Love someone who will enable me. There's so many things in here that I do want though. What? Um, I do want one of these dishes of pasta, but we have nowhere to put them. Um, there's a pasta salad over there that has salami and stuff in it. Yeah. It looks a bit too creamy, but I want it. 
And then, you know, I'm a sauce guy. We have too many jars. I know. Most of our weight in Steve right now is all jars. I know. We gotta start eating. We, yeah. Buy more food. You ate it last time we were here. I got this. You want this? Six dollars. And we're doing Chianti. So when everyone's Lovely. ready for a glass of wine. Lovely. And pizza for rosemary focaccia and some scallion cheddar cheese. I think we went really hard with the snacks, but Ooh. can't go wrong with snacks. It feels good at a place like this. Though, <laughs> right. To my dearest Olive Fest. Oh, how I enjoyed thee. Let me count the ways. <laughs> <laughs> Olive Fest was actually really nice. And hanging out with the homies, Raj and Teresa, uh, also made it even better. Anytime we can run into homies on the road, come to a, a friend's town, always good. Happened to uh, know them from New York for a while. I mean, you good know. Good people, good yeah. people. And it was a bit far for all of us, but worth it. Everything was good. Yeah, compared to Garlic Fest, way better than Garlic Fest. Garlic Fest had a lot more fest. This wasn't like a ton of fest. Olive Fest. But... Oh, no, it's called, it's called Olive Palooza. Oh, okay. Well, or there wasn't like a ton of Palooza here. Or Topia. Or Topia. The music wasn't too loud, which I don't want to sound like an old person. <laughs> no, you I just don't want to sound like an old person. <laughs> but it's just like you come, you come to certain places and they have like a live band, and that live band is doing a very off rendition of a song that you vaguely know and you're like i i don't know if i can hear the and person talking to trying me trying to get people to dance in a setting where this is also going to make me sound like the mayor of full loose come on where, come on where dancing doesn't pull up <laughs> <laughs> music's too loud and we're dancing <laughs> if you wanted to know what the sea big vibe was in our household real straight edge okay but you know what i'm talking about we're like they're trying to get you to dance, like dancing out of context, like mm -hmm. where you shouldn't be dancing. Mm -hmm. Like that's not the vibe. Mm -hmm. And they were not trying to do that. They were like sitting down with their guitars. Uh, there was a country store. Loved it. So much bougie, bougie shit in there. Now you know us at a country store. Oh my God, it's over. I was in there. I was talking about budgets the whole way here. And I was in there just like, fuck it. <laughs> I'm buying hot sauce. I'm buying stuff I don't even need. Give me all of the cookies. Had a good time. Yeah, good time. So if you are in Phoenix and there is Olive Topia, Olive Fest, Olive Palooza, Olive, Olive Palooza, come down. If there is no fest, the store is still here, the tables are still here. It's a vibe at this olive yeah. farm. It's like Olive Unplugged. It's like Olive Unplugged. Yeah. Olive After Dark. <laughs> this is where the tip drill video from yeah. Nelly starts playing where he runs the credit cards with somebody's butt cheeks. <laughs> I think we've said too much. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you do subscribe, if you don't subscribe, still thank you. Check in if you can. Please leave a comment. We, we really, really appreciate every set of eyes that we have on these videos. Have no idea what this is really for other than fun. So thank you guys for tuning in to us being Goofy. on the internet. And like we say, at, at the, the end, end of the, the day, day